everyone, hey, it's Janelle J, and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. And I'm here with one of the top notch, I think, Aww, top notch in the GTA, XO, Miss T. <laughs> yes. Tracy. Hey everyone, so I'm a makeup artist and I'm here with Janelle. I'm so happy to be here and we're going to be sharing our favorite skincare products and mm -hmm. you know what works and what doesn't work and and what you know is just mediocre. Right. What's just there? Well been there, you know when our mm -hmm. skin is breaking out and then we're so stressed out. It can be such a stressful time, you know, when your skin is breaking out. I feel so stressed out. I feel like I always have to have makeup on so yeah, you know. Yeah, it sucks. The best thing to do is find the right skincare products and that's what we're here doing today. Yes. I'm just gonna go off right now. Like, yes, yeah, go. My skin, I have been going through like, it's like hormonal adult acne, you know? So I started breaking out right when I was in my 20s. When I was in my teens, I had flawless skin. It, it, it's happening to me. And it's underneath your skin and it hurts. Stress. Trying to figure out life. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure out life, you know? You so, know, relationships, all the stuff. Everything. Just take a toll on your skin. You know, when you feel like you are not happy with your skin, especially yeah. when you had Clearson before, and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you start breaking yeah. out. I feel like that's what pisses me off the most. I will, like, sometimes even just, like, sit there and, like, look at pictures, like, oh my god, look how cool oh my, my god, you do that all the time. <laughs> yes, because I used to have photos with just You me, reminisce on the no past, makeup. and you're just, like, looking at the old you know? photos, and I'm like, damn, yeah. like, you know, I didn't appreciate it then. Uh, that's not always the case, because, like, <laughs> takes over so you want you want you want to talk about moisturizers moisturizers yeah. uh guys i don't have a moisturizer like okay that's crazy yeah i need one i don't have one even if you have oily skin people think if they have oily skin i have a combination of both oily Doesn't and dry matter. moisturizer or I know, I know, I you know, know i think that's the key to maintaining you know healthy looking skin yeah, you're you're definitely <laughs> right. Okay, let me tell you. All throughout like high school, I used Aveeno, and I never used to break out. Yeah, Aveeno is very like, like gentle, kind of. Very gentle. Yeah. I don't use it anymore. I don't mm -hmm. know. I just like for some you just, reason. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, after so many years, you need to. You switch just want to switch it up, yeah. I I get bored. I want to try new things. Even when yo for Pond years. moisturizer mm -hmm. is really good. I just don't like moisturizer on my face. I love when my face is dry. Okay, so if you like when your face is dry, then <laughs> yeah. you need to get uh, like a gel look. Uh, a gel moisturizer because basically if you the gel will absorb really fast and it's not as heavy and Greasy as yeah, I don't like cream. the grease feeling so you need a gel moisturizer water-based products for any of you guys that have I Guess combination skin or also dry skin. Yes, yeah. I feel yeah. like I have dry skin I have like dry patches like Around here, I'll get really dry. Around the mouth area. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's it gets weird. Really dry. Maybe it's also the weather. It's really the weather for sure. Toronto. It's living it's, in Canada. You, <laughs> if you guys don't know what we're talking about, your skincare has to switch up seasonally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this one's uh, from Cetaphil. Thank you. Oh, our beautiful model. So <laughs> it's an oil control moisturizer, and I've been using this for maybe. Uh, a year now and it's been working honestly the best thing about it is it has SPF 30 that's it because um, that's really important uh, for if you're it doesn't matter if that it's just winter outside yeah you, you still SPF. gotta protect from the Sun when it's out as well doesn't matter that I'm brown I mean SPF yeah yeah <laughs> Got answers out there yeah it's, it's a real cool. thing it's, it is it's like my like cheap one. your go-to my go-to because it's like only 30 your daily I, I can afford yeah. to use this every day yeah it's affordable <laughs> you know but then I have this one here from Bobby Brown which is the vitamin enriched face face so this one has vitamin C E and uh, shea butter so you Ooh. can use it before your makeup that's and sick. if you have a combination a two-in-one yeah it's two-in-one and actually you feel like okay this one's on the pricier side it's $78 but worth it Worth it because like honestly the ingredients are simple. That's it. If you can read the ingredients, you know your skin is doing something. If you're doing good yeah, yeah, yeah. your skin. I'm oily, so uh, because it's two in one, I don't have to apply a ton of product. And especially mm -hmm. if you're in a rush mm -hmm. and you don't have time to apply a primer, a moisturizer, I know. Toner, like, I love this one. If, if it wasn't so expensive, I would use it all the time. It hydrates really well without making you oily. Lush. What do you guys think about Lush products? Okay, so I hear so many rave reviews, yeah. and I've only used, to be honest, one mask. Uh, yeah. There's Dark Angels I've, I've used. Uh, it's a black, like, charcoal kind of Ooh, scrub. I, well, I, I heard... What do you think about Lush? Like, what's your opinion? I... It works for me sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't work for me. I love the uh, toners after the shower. Mm, I you know, love toner. This is Breath of Fresh Air. It's mm. currently... So this has 
So it has leaf oils, flower extract, caffeine yeah. oil. Not sure what that is, but it's an oil. The toners are so good at Lush. It just you just feel so fresh. My favorite one here is here. the Bobby Brown. I love I love toners. I feel like Let's after a shower, one. show them. This one's the Bobby Brown hydrating face tonic. So this one has cucumber extract and mineral water. What I do is I pour some on a cotton pad and then I basically just rub it all around my face. What do you think about <laughs> Putting it on a cotton pad. I feel like the cotton pad just absorbs all of it and then What's left to put on your okay. face? I you would think that but with this like I actually see the stuff on Okay, the okay, pad. Right. let's tell you earlier like I would wash my face I would even do a face mask sometimes and then I would put on the like the cotton pad and I'd put it on and I'm like What the hell I thought like I just did like a face wash just like a scrub, you know And yeah. there's still stuff like beneath the skin. You want to talk about toner? <laughs> What about face washes? Like, yeah. what are your favorite face washes? Oh, we'll get into that. <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to simplify my skincare routine. And That's the best, though. Stick to one thing, because yeah. I'm never giving anything, like, a fair chance. I'm just like, okay, it's so it, You get so annoyed, though, when you're, like, trying things for, like, maybe a couple, like, a week, and you're like, it's not working, and then you just give up on it. It's not gonna work in a week. It's not gonna so. work, guys. You need to have patience. Yeah. Patience is key. Definitely, but anything. with everything, yeah, exactly, <laughs> with everything. It's true. You want to know what this is? What is that? Witch hazel. Witch hazel. Once every week, your skin will be glowing. Mm -hmm. Everyone is hyping witch hazel, mm -hmm. and um, when I put it on my face the other day, the lady in the elevator, she's like, and I wasn't wearing any makeup. Wow. And she's like, you look so young. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. So fountain of youth. Witch yes. hazel. Witch hazel, guys. Get your own witch hazel. Get your yes. own witch hazel. I got this from the natural store. You can get it from like your natural store, right? Grocery stores, Walmart. Toners are hit or miss for me because yeah. sometimes when you put on the toner, my skin is so sensitive and it it has like a, a breakout. Oh my rash. gosh! Yes, because like you're you're just overdoing it, right? And I feel like you're just pulling out too much of the oils from the skin. That mm -hmm. it just all of a sudden is just like, what are you doing? My skincare routine consisted of just Vaseline on my eyelids before when I would never break out. A Vaseline. What? What does Vaseline on your eyelids okay, do? Okay, Vaseline on your eyelids is so great because it keeps them just like hydrated and plump. Like put them, put it on before bed, mm -hmm. and you will see like the difference when you wake up. It's your kind eyelids. of like um, with your under eye circles as well, too. Exactly. Right? It just kind I never of thought really hydrates them. Take she care of that. It's so important because when you get older, that's crazy. You know, your eyes are the first thing that start to age. Definitely, yeah, more than anything. Well, Vaseline is one of my things. Like, oh my god, I have to like buy all these different products so that I'm you have to cleanse, getting... you have to tone, then you gotta moisturize. Exactly. I have like this face wash here from Cetaphil. So, this one I really love. So it's an oily skin cleanser. Okay, this bottle is 500 milliliters. I've had it for like six months. <laughs> it's not finishing, and I use it like twice a day. Yo, okay. Cetaphil is the bomb. The Why do you think Pharrell looks so young? Oh. Pharrell doesn't age. Yeah. Like, and that that's like proof. I didn't know Pharrell used Cetaphil or else yeah. I started using it sooner. Also, if you have oily skin, it's not good to use foamy products. Pump it out, it's like clear consistency. And, and I like that. Like when yeah. you pump it out of the pump, mm -hmm. you see what's gonna be going on to your face. Yes. Um, very gentle. Yes, yeah. It's you don't want something with too much, especially for your everyday cleanser. I feel like something that's too that's too strong is gonna like make your face react in a bad way yeah yeah what's your favorite face wash well uh <laughs> i used to use Cetaphil. actually i used Cetaphil like on and off throughout mm -hmm. last year i like Cetaphil. it made me feel really clean it removes makeup too i use this uh sweet almond oil it's like an all natural almond oil to take off my makeup mm -hmm. and then to cleanse my face i use vichy Ooh, normaderm yeah, I love Vichy. <laughs> Y'all know about Vichy Normaderm. Like, Vichy is good stuff. Yeah. It's, I feel like this is one of the face washes that are just there mm -hmm. for me. It's a go-to. It's Definitely. a go-to. Oh, this product, it removes the makeup. And Ooh. basically, you just take a cotton pad, Yeah. put it on the cotton pad, and back with the cotton pad. <laughs> so <laughs> everyone raves about this product, and it's like $6. And it takes off all your makeup. I love using this. It's... um. It's oil free, which is one great thing. Oil free. Fragrances can tend to irritate my skin, so yeah. I try to stay away from anything with a fragrance. It really does no good for me. I know, but when yeah. it smells so good, it's you always oh. want a product that smells like flowers or something. It's true. No. My favorite. This is my favorite. Do you guys know what this is? It's Saint Ives Even and Bright 
so good. Using it is a go-to product. It's just there in your washroom, you know? <laughs> so, okay. Guys, we're, we've been talking about skincare products, you know? We're just gonna, I guess, should we talking? continue or? Mm -hmm. I want to talk oh, about this. I want to hear. I've heard so many good things and the fact that you've had a apparently bad experience. This is a... <laughs> A Clarisonic, guys. I got this from Sephora. Okay, and how much does it go for? This one was like maybe 175. Oh, that's, a, that's an investment. Yeah, that I thought I would be using, but I literally used it once or twice, and yeah, I get it. Like you're not supposed to just use products like that just once or <laughs> we twice. Just woke up. It wasn't working for me. It was making me. It was calm. Be, it was the calm before the storm, or like the storm before mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the saying is. So the calm before. The storm, yeah, because there's like a but calm, was... and then there's like <laughs> the storm. <laughs> okay, I looked at a lot of reviews about the Clarisonic, and people said that it makes your skin break out, and then all of a sudden it makes it transform. Yo, once I saw the breakouts, I was like, nah, I'm not into you're, this. You're done. It was too severe, and it was like breaking open uh, acne that shouldn't have been bro broken oh into. Oh my god. And everyone's different, and we're all gonna react different to certain things. What's gonna work for me is not gonna work for you. Like we're that. giving you the real, you know. No this one's is the real. The real. On the lowdown on the. <laughs> Yo, products. this should be called the real. <laughs> There's already a show called the real. Oh, there is? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, <laughs> so, the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. <laughs> like, unclogs my pores because I found that my pores were becoming like really enlarged in a sense mm -hmm. and so this kind of just helps with kind of closing the pores and extracting the dirt from the pores mm -hmm. and using it once a week is safe it hasn't done anything so from it's active origins. charcoal yeah it has origins. active yeah and it's from origins which is a great brand whenever i get a really hey. bad breakout maybe you should try this so this is for spot treatment so it's called Tumanu, Tumanu oil for West Indian. This looks like um, uh, Janet. <laughs> what's you know that fruit where it's like the green thing and the they green, eat it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Ginnip. Oh, Ginnip. You guys, like you're Trini, so you guys. We say Ginnip. We say Ginnip. I say Chenna or some shit. I use this as a Pop. as a spot treatment. The other day I had a pimple like right here, yeah, and it like it was so big and disgusting. Yeah. And I just put it on at night, and it made it go down, and it fades the scar completely. Like this is the only product I feel I've ever used in my life that mm. actually fades a scar. Ooh. But you know what? These oils actually work. They they do. They do. I don't want to break out by putting anything on my face. Mm -hmm. So I got the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face um, Sunscreen. Uh, Did it like, oh, it has SPF of 60, which is great. SPF of 60 and it's oil free. So, mm -hmm. you know what? I did like this. Remember, we were saying sunscreen is important regardless. Uh. So, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I, get, I get sunspots. It's weird. It looks like freckles. Like, look, it's all over Yo, yeah, my hands. Yo, yeah, people have been getting it? that. Yeah. yeah so, it just I, I get them on my face too, yeah. right? So, my doctor said basically it's like you don't wear sunscreen. <laughs> wow. So, it's the extra repair eye cream from Bobby Ray Brown. So, I use this in the nighttime underneath my eyes if you have any dark circles or yeah. just baggy droopy under eyes mm -hmm. um they're perfect it's perfect for just keeping you just need a I little bit i start using under eye cream you have to well i stuff. always yeah. rub my eyes it's, it's and you're not perfect. supposed to exactly so i think we did a great job with the video yeah i, I think, think we did helpful. such a great job <laughs> i hope this video you know i hope you guys could relate to our own personal experiences with these certain yeah. products mm -hmm. and maybe comment below and let us know some of you know your tips and tricks of what works for you and what doesn't. Well, I'm more of a homeopathic type of I like of that. I like that. You know? That's the best way to go. Yeah. You know? Cleaning out you internally. What, exactly. Whatever's inside is gonna show on the outside. Definitely. Like, I always say that. Like, right? your makeup, even when it comes to makeup, like, the makeup is only gonna look as flawless as your natural skin. Make sure you're also happy with what you, without the makeup and all that. So that's why it's so important to yeah. take care of your skin. You know, I don't want to feel like I have to put on this stuff all the time. So yeah. I like to be happy with my natural skin. Exactly. You know, it's like, that's really what matters. Oh my gosh. I love Tracy so much, oh, guys. Visit her YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. Hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram, X. Yes, Miss T. Guys, like she. I hate saying cry. description box. Description box. Description box. It's just the box. The box below, below this video. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty just saying it. Right? I love doing this. Me too. It was fun. I'm not drinking skinny tea. <laughs>